well, you join me on a bit of a random one. So Rich has gone and got his GoPro and he's let us loose to film our own little weird videos, which is what we decided to do today. I'm at a very, very noisy little pond. But what we've done, I've come out for a bit of drop shot fishing, which I hate drop shot fishing. I'm rubbish, I'm the world's worst drop shot angler by a million miles. I'm beyond useless at it. But try and all that so what, what am i gonna do today is try and document just how crap i am at drop shot fishing for just to keep you lot entertained so anyway i've come to a bit of a nostalgic one i've come to a little uh, it's a little like a little farm pond you know what i mean it belongs to the angling club that i spent my youth at it belongs to a uh, port sunlight angling club and i'm at the roadside pond which you know, it, it's somewhere i grew up i grew up here fishing with my granddad and Ultimately, it's where I learned how to catch a few fish. Do you know what I mean? I've caught many a little perch and tench and all sorts of this one. But since moving out, I've moved a bit closer up this way and I've been here a couple of times since doing a bit of drop shotting because although I've travelled all over the place having to go in the past, it turned out that the best place I've ever been was literally a mile and a half from my house, which is yeah, about right. <laughs> so I've come here today to see what I catch. Do you know what I mean? But I've got a bit of a mission because... What I've never ever been able to do when drop shotting is use my landing net. I've never caught a fish big enough to actually need to be netted. So that is the target. I mean, I've got to be, I can't just net it for the sake of netting it. It's got to be, I want something like 10 ounce plus. That to be my biggest perch I've caught drop shotting. So we're going to give it a go. I mean, what I've got, I've got a couple of little ponds here. I've got a little, little one right in front of us here to have a look at. This is very, very nice. A couple of pegs on here where we normally catch a few and then there's another one exactly the same size just a bit further up there so we're gonna have a little dabble around both ponds and see where we catch but what you can also do you lot is that we give you lots of tips in the past if you could actually point out just why i'm so crap at doing this then your comments will be very very greatly appreciated <laughs> to make me a better law angler because i'm putting it down to patience i'm not the most patient person but we shall see how it goes. So I'm gonna have a little wiggle. I've got my kit ready. Do you wanna have a little? Let, let's pretend we're being. We've got a clue what's going on. You know, I've got my little little rod going on here. Don't know what's going on now. I've got my old granddad's reel with some braid on. And then we're going for one of these things. I've just got a little tiny drop shot thing. I've just got a, an SSG on that, and I've got my little white an AG or whatever they're called. Not a clue what they're on, but that's what we're going with because that's what I seem to catch on with all the time when I come here. So I've got a few little different options. You know, I've got me bag of me bag of tricks here. You know, I've got me bag of of all sorts of weird little things in there that we put on and have a go and pretend that I know that I'm making a difference by doing something. But who knows? I mean, that's for you lot to fix for me. So we're going to fasten our GoPro on here. Let's get him attached to the chest thing. Hopefully the cars aren't too noisy. And we're going to see how we get on. I've got an hour to play before I've got to go back to my feral daughter. Is that all right? Is that the angle right? I'm pretty, I'm liking that. So we're going to have a little go. And I normally catch one here. This is normally my little banker peg, this one. The only thing it has got that it didn't used to have. It must have, with all that rain that we've had recently, it's got loads of watering. It's normally a lot more clear, it's a lot, the colour's a lot better usually. Because today, it's a bit naff. Well, it's got a bit more depth, it's probably a, it's probably got a foot on what it normally is. I don't know if I might need a heavier shot, I can't quite feel that shot like I want to. That's it, so my plan is, you chuck it out, oop, and you bounce it along the bottom. That, that's right, in it? But just slowly, so your, your lead sort of stays fixed. And your, your weight stays fixed on the bottom. But it's just your law that gives a little jiggle. So I've always like, first I normally just stand on the peg and jiggle around the peg, but I've never ever caught catching doing that here. It's always just a little bit of a cast seems better. So I'm probably talking a load of rubbish, but it does feel better. Oh. See, I'm, I'm, no, my weight's not heavy enough. I don't think my weight's heavy enough. Let me swap it, I've got a bigger one. I've got a two sets of jerk one. I'm going to put that on instead. So I don't know about my drop as well, whether this is right. It always seems a, a very short drop on here is the best, because it's very, very shallow. It's only about three, four foot at the very, very most. 
into a little diddy drop between me lead and me and me hook seems best whether that's wrong or not let me know people I'll catch one here this is me banker this is when I, I try and make myself look like I've got a clue button do I catch him on quick I'm gonna catch nothing I'm gonna know what's gonna happen but it's a lovely day it's just going cold unfortunately it's been oh there's a fish that was a fishy then wasn't it definitely a fish could be a, a rod or oh, there's loads and loads of thingies in here of um, loads of brown goldfish in here so that could well be a little brown goldfish thing so I'm doing this as well but is this right I'm always holding my line just to see if I can feel anything I don't know if it's right doing that or not you see that feels better now that's on the bottom and it's doing what it needs to do now bubble there going up Solid, should have brought me kit. So if you're going around this bush, you've got to do a little bit of a... Oh, that was crap. A bit of a sneaky chuck. That's what I used to catch on as a kid. I was used to fish. I'd go in there behind me looking for worms. And I'd get little red worms under the logs and I'd come and fish them under this bush when I was a kid. I always used to get a pitch of chuck, but... That is over 20 years ago that we used to do that, so I can't really see there being any chance of... Oh! That's a little bit of a bang then. I've got my braid on, so I'll like, pretend I know what I'm doing. I've got my braid and I've got 014. I felt like I had a little rattle end under there. I've got 014 mainline on. Is that too heavy, too light, what? Who knows? There's no pike, there's only perch. So I feel like I can get away with fishing light. See, it is not normally good for... I'm going to mess myself right up, but normally half a dozen. So it's just that colour this time. The colour's making me a bit paranoid. I'm going to be weird. I'm going to go onto the other pond. And then we're going to come back to this one. So I'm going to finish back here, back by my van. I had another fish somewhere there. So this is where I caught them last time, definitely. One cast out, and I never ever catch one casting out. That's too far. We're gonna catch one chucking that far, are we? It's got a lot of weed, always in the fucking way. A bit of Canadian pond weed and a bit of weird weed on this one. Right, we're on it. Come on, land in there. Just want to put a fish in here. Please, we'll come back. We'll have a little go here when we come back. That looks like we'll catch one of that weed. Oh, the roadside pond. I spent some serious time here when I was younger. Just got dropped off by my granddad and left alone to get all, up to all sorts of mischief. It is, it's really coloured, it's never, never got this much colour. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's obviously a bad thing, I'm law fishing. Oh. Yeah, it's really coloured. We had so much rain the last, the last like three weeks. I feel like everything might be a bit messed up. Oh, oh, we got one, we got one. Oh, I'll tell you what, he was nearly, nearly, nearly a landing net job. I got excited for a minute then. But we got one. I'm going to put the lure on it, make it look like I know what I'm doing. Look at that. Nailed it, Annie. Little piece of perch. Look at it. Oh, pretty little bugger. We're on it, aren't we? We shall let him go. Let him go. Yeah. See you later, buddy. <laughs> right, next. Oh, excited, man. That was good, and that. That was free. That was quite a big one. Only a bit smaller than that. Oh. you down this little slopey bit here. Want another? Bit of, it's massive if we have. Bit of weed. Once you caught a bit of weed and never seem to catch one. See, again, I always, when I first came, oh, when I first came, I always used to try right against the features, like in the edge, but 
I don't think there's enough depth. They don't seem to. I never catch one. Tight against all the muck, or against the. I mean the weeds and the branches and all of that. I only ever catch them like down the slope a little bit. I don't know if that's just because of the depth, the time of year, or what. What do we reckon? So we're not going to see any signs like we do when we're max fishing or fishing for other species that we can respond to. Or I don't think there is. How do you know what the signs are with perch fishing, drop shotting, flat fry scattering? That'd be a good shout, wouldn't it? But I've never seen that. So lures as well, that's worth chatting about. In that what colours are best. I've only ever caught on a little oh on little tiny red ones. They ain't got no left of. Or these white ones. I've got some little curly tail ones and I've got some that look like little tiny perch. They look dead sexy, but I've never caught one on them. Is that a confidence thing or do we reckon it does make a big difference? To even the other little little jig eddy ones, is that a better option? I've never caught on them now. I've had a few goes with the jig head type things and I've never ever caught a fishy on them, apart from a little pike. What does amaze me though is that impatient match angler mentality and all that. It amazes me how much you have to concentrate to actually catch the fish still. If you're not tight to that and not feeling it, one never like hangs itself. You always feel your bite and you've got to respond to it rather than just catching the fish. I'm doing it right, see this jiggling with what I'm doing. Is it right? I do like feeling it with my hand, I do feel like I, I, I get more of a sensation when I get a bite. Let's have a little go from the opposite side that we just caught one. Rackety Rackety Bridge. Actually, quite a posh bridge, eh? Isn't it? Quite a posh bridge. There's the lilies, the lilies are there. Avoid the lily pads. Well, I've one quick go on that peg. By the van. And then it's the time to go and walk the dog. is a nice way, at least you've not got to rock up and set the tent on the gear up and all of that. It's, I love how quick snatch and grabby type fishing it is. Nice little walk. Dabble your rod about in a few places and, and move on. That's, that's the enjoy. Oh, oh, yeah, you got one. What's this one? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yeah, boy. Look, he's nailed that, hasn't he? Proper nailed it, little bugger. Where are you? Gonna need my flipping disclosure for that. Let's pull that off so I can see the hook. Open your mouth, please. Open your mouth, please. Open your mouth, please. Thank you. Little dentist work. And there's another little beauty one. Look at him. He's got a little crookedy fin. Oh, he doesn't go off that one. Lovely little perch. Again, yeah, not quite there. Oh, look when they do that. Oh, he's got a little mongy fin in him, hasn't he? He's not going to go off. Anyway. Oh, I'm going to let him go on the peg so he has to go over. There you go, boy. Oh, look at his way. Look at that way. Yum. Right. Empty in it now, aren't we? Still no bigger now. Still no big lad. Right, drop a bit of weed. Quick go. Quick go on that peg opposite, the noisy peg with the row behind us. And then we're off. It's that big hole. Just the mole and they live in the hole. Just the mole and they live in the hole. I'm going to try around that one, eh? let's just go over there, let's just go over there. What's that, what's that? Free float, look, free float. Free float without falling in.
the lengths we used to go to when there'd be a free float when we were kids was unreal. I practically jumped in lakes before now just to try and get... In fact, you know what I have actually done? Got boats out to get a float back when I was a kid. Let's have a look, I'm gonna get the float. I might fall in. Richard shot on me lots of a fall in with his push camera. There's me free float. Oh, look at that. Whoa. I like them as well. Look at that free float. Oh, that wind's a bit chilly. Chuck, chuck that way. That's a low angler's cast. it up causing a big bow on my line and I can't keep it I can't keep a tight line even I'm not oh not useless enough to think I'm gonna catch one doing that never gonna happen two more casts like that that looked like something wasn't right let's wrap round Bite then, definitely a bite then. A little bit of a dink. So it's a surprise yet again. It's probably about the third or fourth time we've had to go on here, and it's always different places every flipping time. Yeah, they never. There's never like a banker that I definitely, definitely catch one on. Well, it was random, like the two places, oh no, that, where I caught that first one, that's probably the most dependable area, but that second one, never caught one there before. That was a proper fisherman's two more casts on it. Because we felt something happened, something happens, you've got to have another go, haven't you? It's like if you miss a bite, you can't, you can't leave it at that and let him get away with it. So I could go that way where that wind's dropped. <laughs> Two more casts and all that. No, that's us for the day. Get back in that van, get warmed up a little bit. Get in, best bit of the day. Finding our Sophie's treats. Right, so back in the van, and unfortunately, challenge failed, wasn't it? Landing net remains dry. But I enjoyed that one. I mean, and for me, with the level of drop shotting ability I have, I think just catching the fish is the target of it. So it's catch two in, I'll have a long with fish for maybe a quick 45 minutes an hour. For me, that is mega, mega, mega. But like I say, I need some help. So I want lots of comments as to how I can do this better because I'm a bit crap on it. I mean, I need some help with my drop shotted skills. So we'll get back on the bank soon and hopefully try again with a bit of your luck. With a bit of your luck, with a bit of help from you lot. So that's it now then. Take dog for a walk. See you all soon and hopefully that was a, an all right video. We love you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.